Hi guys, Leslie here, and really quick, I just want to show you how to use the customizable HTML button inside Easy Product Displays so that you don't have to uh, think about, you know, merchant buy buttons or where they're hosted or any of that nonsense. Um, so what I like to do is I like to go into my global settings, um, and the global settings can be found right here. And I scroll down, see this is what it would look like, and then I'm going to scroll down to where it says button type. And here is where you're going to uh, choose customizable HTML button. Okay, and you're going to see that that's their default customizable HTML button, so you can kind of get an idea of the different things you can do with it. Um, you can change what it says inside of this little box here. You can say buy now, you know, you can basically have it say whatever you want there, which I think is a really uh, great feature. And you can change the color. You can change the text color. Pardon my children screaming in the background. So you can change the text color there. Um, you can make it bigger. Okay, you can make the size bigger. See, um, let's see, you can round the corners. You can make the border thicker, okay? Um, for some reason, my border isn't showing up over here. You'll have to, oh, here's here, border color. Err, here we go. And border color, there we go. So you can kind of just get an idea here. You can bold the text. All right, so just lots of different things you can do with this button. And what's great about this button is it's just HTML. Uh, it's not hosted anywhere, uh, don't have to worry about it, and you can make it say whatever you want it to say. You And then after you've set it in the global settings, you can save that button, and you can load it later if you need to. Say you want to make a few different ones for whatever reason, um, you have the option to save them. So you just hit save, and I might say orange, black, buy now, and save it. Okay, and I can always come back and load that later. Um, and switch in between different ones. So when I'm adding a product here, um, you'll see that the button just automatically loads for me. So, you know, whatever it is I'm looking for, whoops, excuse me, say I wanted that and this and whatever, um, that buy button is now going to show up for all of these because I put it in the global settings. Okay, so Hopefully that helps you out. You just take this code and you slap it on your website and you won't have any of the um, button image hosting issues this way. Okay, I uh, hope that was helpful. If it was, please click like and subscribe and I will see you in the Pajama Affiliates Mastermind.